Hey there, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a simple scraping painting or a squeegee painting. You've maybe seen them around before, but they're very beautiful and very easy. For this canvas, I just uh, painted this canvas black uh, to start with. It's got some texture on it from previous paintings that I painted over, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we'll still use it. For my scraping material thing, I'm using just this cardboard backing to a picture frame. Um, it's uh, it's pretty flexible, which will be good kind of contour to the canvas. Uh, and then I've, as you can see, I've used it many times before with all the dried colors on it. So for my colors, I'm just using uh, some simple reds, yellows, and oranges. Um, and uh, I'll add some white on there as well. And uh, we'll do it uh, two different times to get some different uh, layering going. Okay, and uh, so uh, yeah, so it's very simple and we're just going to, in a minute, apply the paint directly onto this scraping board, uh, approximately the width of the canvas. Um, you don't want it too wide so you don't end up wasting paint. Uh, we'll use these colors, put them directly onto uh, the board like I said. There's other methods you can use, start with the painting or the paint. Uh, directly on the canvas and then scrape it but for these acrylics I like to put them uh, right on the scraping surface first and then scrape them onto the canvas I think it gets a more even distribution um, so we'll go ahead and open these up and uh, get started Okay, um, yeah, so I'm, um, you'll see how I add the color. I just kind of um, put put this white on first, and then I'll put the colors just directly on top of the white as well. Now there's so many different ways that you can go about uh, doing these types of uh, scraping paintings. This is just one of them. Uh, I think it's a good starting point. Um, so as you see, I'll just put the yellow just right on top of the white. Now you can alternate um, colors as far as you can put a little bit of white down and then put... Um, some color, different color next to it, um, and then different color next to that, and so on, and see how that looks for you. Um, for this video, I'm just going to put all the colors directly on top of each other, uh, and we'll see how that turns out. Now, when you go to apply the paint, uh, you're not going to want to add a whole lot of pressure to the squeegee or the board or whatever you're using. You just want to lay it on the canvas and gently draw it down. Uh, and it will create, naturally, this really cool kind of leopard skin pattern. Um, and uh, it's very simple. So, yeah, again, you're not going to want to push very hard. If you push too hard, it'll, it'll, it'll um, kind of mush all of the paint down on the canvas and just create a kind of a flat... Um, compressed type of uh, streaks but um, if you if you do it with less pressure it'll create these this spotted effect like, uh, like we have here and um, here I've gone over it twice just to um, accentuate more layering uh, but like I said it's very flexible you can do it however you'd like however many layers you'd like you can let a layer dry uh, and then uh, go over it again you can uh, let a layer dry and then um, <clears throat> scrape it in a complete opposite direction from vertical to horizontal and such um, it's really uh, fun to use this method to experiment with a, a lot of different types of uh, scraping um, and so here, uh, I'm going to go back over it. The paint hasn't dried on the canvas. I'm going to go over it wet on wet and uh, just add some more color. This is just um, uh, a yellow and uh, a more crimson red. And uh, like I did before, I'm putting the yellow um, just completely uh, on top of uh, the red uh, with a little bit of um, spaces where there's no yellow and just red. And then we'll um, go ahead and put that directly onto the previous layer. Okay, and there you have it. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like this and call it finished. Um, yeah, the, so the point of uh, doing these is to have a technique that's very uh, simple, 
doesn't require a whole lot of time, doesn't require a whole lot of patience, um, but still creates a really, really neat effect. And uh, depending on which colors you use, it can look, turn out looking really cool. So uh, go ahead and uh, take this as a starting off point and go and make some beautiful scraping paintings. Thanks for watching.